What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and today I wanted to show you guys how to inoculate mycelium into a liquid culture. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how you could dilute spores out and inject them into a liquid culture to form mycelium, like this King Strafaria here. But if you want to be extra sure that you're using sterile um, um, sterile tissue, then you'll want to start off the spores on auger, separate them out like we have here, and um, inoculate them into a liquid culture. So first off, I just wanted to show some two different um, types of liquid culture bottles I like to use. So you can get these tiny little jars, and that way if you're testing out a m multiple different varieties it's not taking up a ton of space so you can grow out a pretty substantial amount of mycelium in this tiny little jar so that's what I'm gonna do um, with all these different phenotypes and then if you've seen our other video on how to utilize uh, media extractor bottles so I've got one right here without the hose and everything so I'll sterilize those separately and um, I just like to have a regular cap on here while I'm doing my inoculations because um, the other ones can get in the way and it's kind of annoying. But check out our video on utilizing liquid cultures and the media extraction bottle for how we prepare our liquid cultures. It's just um, a, a sugar water solution. There's tons of different recipes. We like to use Bjorn's filtered honey it's a local honey here in um, Boulder, Colorado, and it's been working phenomenal. So that's what we do. But we also use um, corn syrup and um, different types of liquid powder. You can get powder broth if you want to go that route as well. Um, but yeah, just make, some, make sure it's about 4% sugar solution and you should be fine. So the, these uh, broths have been cooled for about five days now. So I know that they're sterile, they're very clear, there's not any growth inside the media bottle. So that's the first step. There are two ways you can go about doing this. So right now I'm just going to try to select one of the um, better looking cultures that I see. So this is a brown oyster and you can see after just a few days it's almost covered the petri dish as well as this one so these are two really good examples of um, mycelium cultures that I would want to put into a liquid culture just because they're outgrowing some of the rest of the plates here like this Namico is pretty slow so I'm trying to select for the most rigorous strains so probably the easiest way is to cut um, a, a wedge in the auger and then just drop it in the solution. And it's really important that you use a media bottle with a smaller size hole to reduce the likelihood of contaminations from getting into the, the broth. So it's important to do it in front of a flow hood. Usually I do it in my vertical flow hood, but it's easier to show you guys in this setup. All right, so that's the first method that you can do. The second method is utilizing um, a, a solution to cover the mycelium and then aspirate it back into the solution and then you can inject it into the liquid culture. So the pro for that way is that it's reducing the size of the opening so you have a better chance of maintaining sterility. So you can do that maybe if you don't have a flow hood or um, if you're just unsure of yourself. So I'll start off by um, placing a wedge into this bottle and then I'll show you how I um, dig up the mycelium and inject it into this media bottle without opening the lid. Okay guys, I'll start off just by wiping my hands down with isopropyl and I'm going to be working with this brown oyster number seven so you can see it's a really nice healthy looking colony 
Um, this was isolated on the 3rd and it's the 11th. So look at how healthy that mycelium looks. All right, so I'll show you first. You want to kind of loosen the lid so that you're ready to go when you have to drop in the wedge. And then I'll open up my sterile blade. You really don't want to work on top of these petri dishes like this, but I just think it's easier to show you guys. So I'm opening my blade in front of the flow hood. And then I am going to take a tiny little piece of the leading edge. Inoculate it into solution. And you can see that little triangle floating around. So I will give this a few days um, on the stir plate but actually there's not a stir bar in there, so I'm just gonna shake it up and then I'll put the media extractor when I'm ready to pull the media out of this bottle. All right, so then the next method you can do is by utilizing a sterile syringe. So I have this uh, syringe here and then I just have to find a needle All right, and then I've got my sterile needle right here. So I like to use a, a 16 gauge so that it can really grab up a lot of the mycelium. And then I've got some sterile water here. I'll just go ahead and grab some using our media extractor. And you don't need much, just a couple mils. All right, and the main purpose of this water is to give the mycelium a place to go when it's going to be transferred into this bottle here. So I'll go ahead and put some alcohol on this injection port as well. So that's nice and sterile for when we inject the mycelium. All right, so carefully pull this needle off. And then I'm just going to try to fill this little well. Whoop. get a good piece in there. Alright. Alright, I still don't see any. So it might be a better tip to have a larger size wedge. All right, finally. So you can see there's a little piece of mycelium floating in there. And then I'll just go ahead and inject it my liquid culture and you can see it floating around right here I'll go ahead and label that brown oyster number seven today's date 
and I'll do the same All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video on how to inoculate a liquid culture. I'm going to throw this on the stir plate for a few days, um, and then I will be using this liquid culture to go onto grain to test out this plate. And now I can go ahead and parafilm this and put it in the fridge. And if I like my results, I'll go back and put this onto a slant and a few other petri dishes for production. Hope that makes sense. Um, it was a little bit shaky trying to use that syringe on camera, but I did get some really good pieces of mycelium into the solution, and I've got a bunch of other phenotypes that I'm going to throw into some liquid culture, and some of them I'm going to be mating onto a separate Petri dish. All right, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video. Check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi if you're interested in living cultures or other products. Um, we got some new swag up there. And then um, if you're interested in taking our online class, it's this Saturday. So you can sign up at mushroomcult.net. We have about four other classes scheduled for the year. So check out mushroomcult.net backslash events for that. And until next time, much love.